What's going on everybody? I just want to start out by saying I apologize for not being around for the past week. I'm still getting over a pretty bad cold. I was actually really sick. I don't know what happened. I never really get sick like that. It was so bad to the point where I actually almost lost my voice for a while. It was changing, squeaking, yelling, high pitch, low pitch. It would have been quite the video. Right around the time I got sick, I had dropped my car off uh, right after Christmas to the Dodge dealership. And that was a two week ordeal just to get the rear struts replaced under warranty for the car. I'll talk about that later on and stuff, but basically the situation I have now is even though the car's back, I'm only gonna have it for a couple days. It's going to New York, it's going to EMP, it's gonna be going through some crazy changes, which we will also talk about in future videos. So excuse the lack of videos, lack of quality content. I mean, I'm trying to do some stuff. I can't push myself to drive this Hellcat in the snow. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be safe after what I'm doing to the car, and I just don't wanna destroy the car. So with the risk of making this video any longer, I'm just gonna open the garage, I'm gonna show you what I purchased last night, we're gonna go to give a little tour about it, talk about it, why I got it, talk about a couple of the things wrong with it, a couple of the things I like about it, and this will be a car that's only gonna be on the channel for a couple months. It'll get us through winter and we'll survive so that Lucille doesn't get destroyed. So let's just see what we got. Do a quick little tour of it. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's not make this too dramatic. This isn't anything too serious. It's just a 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. It's the four liter inline six engine, which I'll show you all of that when I pull it into the garage. But we'll just do a quick walk around. And yes, I still have the kitty. She's on the street right now. So we're gonna pull this bad boy in. I'm gonna show you some of the things about it. As you know, when it comes to buying a vehicle that you're only gonna keep for a couple months, there's really no point in going too crazy. I was keeping to a budget. I didn't want to go over a certain number. Uh, I got lucky. I found this. We got them down a little bit. I feel like it's a decent investment. I feel like I could get my money back, actually, right after the winter ends. So we'll see how that goes. So let's start this off by uh, taking a look at the interior. It's not the prettiest thing, but let me tell you, before everybody starts cracking jokes, I understand. There's a whole shitload of beige going on in this car. I don't know what the hell happened here. Beige exterior, beige interior, beige freaking everything. Beige carpets. There's a whole hell of a lot of beige going on. I'm not a huge fan of beige, but we got this Jeep for a good price. Um, the miles, the actual engine that was in here, it was all enticing, uh, the four wheel drive aspect. Now, I didn't clean anything. We're gonna do a little bit of that in this video, just so we could see kind of what we could do to it, um, as well as a few other things we're gonna do today. This is what the interior looks like. I'm gonna talk about one thing right off the bat. The leather interior, I'm glad I got the leather. You ever just like go to somebody's house and you sit down and it's an old worn in couch, something really cushy, something that has some character, something that just like swallows you in and you feel comfortable. That's how I could describe these leather seats. They're just like, they're just, I don't know. I'm probably touching someone's ass juices because I didn't clean it, so that's disgusting. Uh, as you can see, that sucks. I, I might be able to get some kind of patch for that, but I'm not really worried. Then you got the steering wheel. This definitely needs a clean. I might get a steering wheel cover so I don't have to touch that. Uh, gauges look pretty cool. It actually has all-time four-wheel drive, which I thought was pretty cool. Now, I'm not even going to lie about it. I'm a noob to the four-wheel drive scene. Um, the good thing I like about this is it has four all time. So what that means is I don't have to question anything. I don't know much about it, just putting it into four, taking it out of whatever. So it's just on. It's pretty cool, simple, it's idiot proof. I like it. The interior is pretty clean. Some things I have to clean here and there. It does have a sunroof, which I'm 90% sure doesn't work, but it's there. You can look out the roof of the car. I guess that's cool. Uh, I'll show you the back seat. Back's pretty good. Looks nice, the leather's pretty good. It's actually really smooth back here, so I, I'm thinking he's like me and he didn't have any friends. So, that could be, that could be something. Um, what we're gonna do today though is we're gonna give this a really good clean. Uh, go through this whole car, clean all of the leather, vacuum it, wipe everything down on the inside, uh, condition the leather, 
just so we know it's not gunked, you know what I mean? I know some people are going to criticize this. I know it's a beater and I bought it for one purpose, but I still want it to be presentable, so we might try to touch this up, maybe with Plasti Dip or some kind of black paint marker, something so it doesn't look shitty. Um, that'll be for a different day. That's actually bird shit. That's great. Nice. Awesome. As far as marks go on the car, there's something here that I'm pretty certain I can polish out. I think it's just a scuff. Uh, the actual body of the car, the tires, the rims, everything looks pretty good except for two uh, spots. This is spot number one. This is actually the worst of it. I'm going to put some of that Coral Seal on this, the product I reviewed once before, as well as right here, just to, uh, you know, just to stop the rusting process. Uh, it'll be black instead of rusty, so that's cool, I guess. We're going to change all of the wiper blades today. It's going to have to get cleaned really well. I still have OCD, you know what I mean? It's still a vehicle that I'm going to have to drive. My wife will be in this car once in a while. Probably not often. This is just like, if it's raining hard, if it's snowing, I still got to get to work. So we're, we're going to have a situation where I can actually drive the vehicle, which is cool. The back, pretty clean. Uh, there's some stains I'm going to have to obviously clean up but there's tons of room obviously one thing i did like is there is a full size spare with a brand new tire i checked the rubber it's really good and it's an actual rim from the car uh this is also kind of cool i've never seen this before again i've never had a truck but this thing comes out and it's got like little slots on both sides where it like goes in and locks i guess it's like if you have something in here and you don't, I, I don't know why, what are you hiding plutonium under here? I don't know why you'd want to cover it, but I guess that's pretty cool. Uh, this doesn't look like it was ever really used, but not bad. Uh, I know this sounds stupid, but I might actually plasti dip the badges. Why not? I'm a fucking, I'm an OG like that. Now here's the only thing, it really bugs the shit out of me, on both driver's side doors, it's missing these. So I don't mind the look of it. What I'm gonna end up doing is ordering a new set. They're 20 bucks I checked online, which is not bad at all. Again, yeah, you're putting money into this, but whatever. This one's starting to come off anyway, so it's time to do that. But as you can see, it looks good. I mean, it's, it's really not bad. We got it for a good price. Not bad at all. This seat's actually really nice. Uh, we're just going to go, like I said, and, and go through everything. Just be careful with all cars. Here's a secret. Whoa, it'll fall right down and it'll it'll break your kneecaps. So if you ever have somebody that owes you money, you don't need to get somebody to go collect it. You just put them in this car and just smash their kneecaps. It'll be a good thing. There is a small dent here. But, you know, this is all normal stuff. There's only one other mark on the car. That bothers the funk out of me, and that's this. And again, I'll put a little coral seal. Another thing that bothers me is there's some water condensation in here. That sucks, but there's nothing I can do about that. The headlights still work perfectly, which is good. So why complain? Oh, I, I love to complain, I guess. So uh, There's really not much to do in here. What we're going to do is just get the leaves out of the engine bay. But as you can see, this is why we purchased this vehicle. It has 130,000 miles. This engine from what my friend Dan told me and from some reading, it's a good engine to have. It'll last. It, it's got, it's been proven. And it's the 4 liter inline 6. It's got no shakes. It's got no noises. It runs really smooth. The transmission shifts really smooth. So like I said, I think we got a pretty good deal on it. I don't think there's, there's anything else really to say. It's the beige beast, I guess. At least I'll have something to put on the channel now. You know, it might not be the Hellcat, but you know, if you guys are watching this channel, what I do want to transition it to is more me, maybe some more vloggy type stuff, show you more of my life. But I can promise you one thing, stay freaking tuned because the Hellcat is getting a serious situation, <laughs> okay? I, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. It's going to be something cool. It's definitely something different, but it's going to be pretty cool. And I look forward to making a lot of videos and having a lot of content about that. But just stick around. Let's see what we could do to this today. Oddly enough, even the freaking key is like a beige brownish color. I just don't, I can't get away from this color right now. 
So like I said, this is my winter beater, but we are gonna take care of it. We are gonna maintain it. We're gonna make sure that I don't have a problem for the next couple months. And because I don't know how the old owner was as far as maintaining the vehicle, all I can do is assume that things need to be done. So we have wiper blades. I've got two for the front, one for the back. And for the few little rust spots that we have, I figure why not just touch them up with some of the coral seal. Um, they'll look black instead of rusted, so it, it works out better. So let's see what happens here. So one of the first things we're going to do is change the wiper blades. I feel like this is going to be one of the easiest things. I didn't want to go with a uh, fancy blade, fancy wiper blade, because why would I? These were pretty cheap. Okay, so that slid off. Just to make sure that these guys aren't idiots. Okay. You never know. You really never know. We'll see how that is. So what we're going to do now, because I'm literally staring down the barrel of a fucking rust gun, fancy good old coral seal, I'm just going to dab it on there, I'm just going to put it all over the rust. One of the things I did want to attack was this. This is a giant ugly heap of shit right there. Basically what you're going to do is just get some coral seal, put it on a, a paintbrush, and just go to town. What it's supposed to do is give you a black, sort of like a primered uh, area. So it's converting the rust, and even though I'm not going to paint this, I still feel like it's worth doing it. Rust is car cancer. So a little spot here in the hood where it's bubbling a little bit. I'm j I know it's not gonna go in the way I want, but this stuff can get wiped off. So at least if it touches it, it'll convert something or it won't do anything. Like I said, it takes two seconds, it's worth a shot. So yes, I did tape things little imperfections <laughs> that I plan on addressing. You know, the next person that buys this, I do want it to be slightly improved. I mean, what's wrong with that? Not much, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, we're back. It's been a little while. This has had some time to uh, sit here, wipe off the excess. You wouldn't honestly believe me if I told you how many leaves were in there. My vacuum went nuts, it was ridiculous. We're gonna top off all the fluids tomorrow. Oh look, oh, fucking more leaves, unbelievable. Real quick, I'm a thorough kind of guy, like I said, leaves, so I'm gonna vacuum all that. But then I was noticing there's like some kind of slimy muck build up there, and especially here, I need a light. This is, this doesn't do justice. There's like muck in there. Um, like, disgusting. Yuck. This side is a uh, forget about it situation. I know this doesn't matter to most people, but to me, this really does bug me. I can't drive around in a car like this. Like, you know the grudge girl? Like if the grudge girl just had diarrhea. This is what would be coming out of her butthole. So, immediately. Oh, it stinks. Oh, it fucking stinks. Whatever it is, it's like rotting. Um, don't worry about any liquid in there. That's just some white lithium grease. I'm trying to uh, lube those up. I might have to replace them.
one thing you want to make sure you're doing with a car like this is concentrating on the areas where you feel like somebody would have touched the most you know armrests definitely the seat the uh, headrests for sure are gonna be a big area somebody rests their head on it you know you don't want to overlook the fact that people have gunk grime Let's give everything a good wiping down there's really not much like dirt staining or anything like that so for me it's mostly don't forget underneath it's mostly just to make sure I'm cleaning it's not like I'm actually having to remove much although if you look in here there is some gunk you know you just want to make sure you're you're thorough do your best for the dashboard same thing I'm just gonna squirt this down So this is why we wear gloves and honestly the gunk that was coming off this car it was disgusting but it was expected because you know this is a used vehicle so I went through this whole car wiped every single bit of leather scrubbed it it's super smooth it's actually clean it smells really nice in here um, I put this on after I cleaned the steering wheel thoroughly I was gonna get the beige one just to be a dick because <laughs> The whole beige theme but you know i feel like i don't want that much beige it's driving me nuts uh everything on the inside cleaned i don't know it, it looks good i might address this but you know for now this is the final little interior tour this had all the rust on it i put the coral seal on it i changed the wiper blade um this was all rusted out now it's dark i might see if i could find a touch-up pen for that color um, and see if I can just put some kind of color there. So it looks nice and clean now. It smells good, and you have the peace of mind to know that you're not sitting on someone else's scuzz, which is also very appealing. Uh, that's about it. The interior's done. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, again, I'm sorry for the lack of videos between being sick and everything going on. It's tough. The Hellcat is home right now, like I said, but she's going away during this upcoming week. Uh, we're going to be dropping her off. She might be gone for up to two weeks. It's going to be difficult, but I'll, I'm just going to be trying to freaking throw a Hail Mary from now until the car's done. Because once the car's done, all I'll be doing is sitting there patiently, patiently waiting for warm weather for us to rip the hell out of the asphalt and make some cool videos for you all. So... That's about it. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't hit the like button, please hit the like button. It really means a lot to me. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That also means a lot to me. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the winter beater. Uh, even though I'm not going to beat on it. <laughs> I'm going to actually probably take care of it. Like, really good care of it. Um, but let me know what you think about the Jeep. And uh, let me know in the comments below some suggestions of what second vehicle you would like me to try to introduce this year coming up sometime. Like I said, this is going to be gone sometime in April or May, so we're going to try to have a second vehicle. I was thinking something like a Jeep SRT, a WK1 or the newer generation, uh, maybe a 6.7 Cummins. That could be a fun vehicle. If I could find a, a used one decent, I could do you know, lots of videos on that. Lift kits, uh, some engine mods make it look pretty decent and still have a nice kick-ass daily driver. Um, this is it. This is what we got. Hopefully the hate is at a minimum. I actually kind of like this Jeep. I'm not keeping it, but I like it. So see you on the next one, guys.